Okay, yeah, so uh, this is about emergence of complex skills in LLMs. I'll uh, briefly describe what complex skills are. And also it'll relate to whether or not they do understand us. Uh, and this is based on these two papers. The first one is a theory paper with uh, Anirudh Goyal, and the second one is an experimental evaluation of uh, something called skill mix. Okay, so uh, just as background, uh, yeah, I mean, all of us know that there's this ongoing debate about, well, maybe not in this room, but like about, uh, uh, you know, are they just mere stochastic turrets? Are they beginning to understand us? You know, how dangerous it is and so on. And, um, and stochastic parrots, of course, referring to that uh, uh, some people, maybe, I'm not sure how many anymore, but that they're still just repeating things they've seen in the, in the training data, okay? And uh, the current evaluations don't really settle the question of whether they are understanding because the evaluations often have been uh, spammed because of Godhart's law. And so uh, there isn't a clear evaluation which, which uh, addresses that. So we'll get to that. Okay, so here's a skill mix evaluation uh, from that paper that I mentioned. And, oh, that's interesting. Uh, all right. Um, so it, uh, it starts with N skills, uh, something like this, uh, language skills, uh, T topics, and you randomly select some number of skills, let's say five, and one topic and ask the chatbot to generate a short piece of text about that topic that exhibits those skills. And, and what you see is that, uh, as, as you would imagine, as the models get bigger, they can do much better. So Llama 2 7B can do sort of a little bit. 70B, you know, at least has an interesting uh, um, metaphor there, which it was required to do. And then, as you would imagine, GPT-4 nails it. So, um, so, uh, so you see, I mean, here's an example of how um, the capabilities are increasing with size. Now, here's a point. So the skill mix eval is, you know, you can change the number of skills that you ask it to combine. And so it's fair for models of all sizes, okay? Just this K, the number of skills you use uh, is changed, but you're just asking it to compose them. Uh, and by the way, these skills are all taken from Wikipedia, so all models know these skills. It's not unfair to any model. Um, the evaluation is exp expandable because you can uh, add new skills and topics. They not be language skills, they could be coding skills or whatever. Um, and uh, the point here is that the number of combinations is very large, right? If you're mixing K, K skills, number of skills to the power K increases very large, uh, becomes very large. Uh, even for modest K, okay? And uh, so that's the point. So it's a, it's a randomized challenge from a very large set of possibilities. And so the key findings, uh, as hinted in the previous slide, is that, you know, as models get larger, uh, they can combine more skills uh, successfully. GPT-4 really wiped the table uh, among the models we tested. And uh, GPT-4 is able to combine, uh, when it's solving for K equals five, uh, so five skills, uh, a good fraction of the time, but just a simple probability calculation, skills and topics that it, it did not see in the training data. And this calculation is just using the size of the training data, which we assume is about 10 trillion. Um, so that's uh, showing that it's not a stochastic parrot. Um, and uh, actually, by using the same idea of combining a lot of things and asking it to generate text, you can also begin to test a model's uh, sorry, a chatbot's world model. Um, so for instance, you can give it a instruction like this, of some totally random thing, again, a random combination, something about ancient Mesopotamia and combining these skills, and it, you know, gives some reasonable answer. Um, and actually, uh, uh, Jeff Hinton uh, got to know of this work, and then he wrote to me saying, he, he finds this a very interesting example, and he's been mentioning it in his interviews and so on, as an example of, you know, world models and understanding of, uh, uh, in language models. Okay, so, so that was an experimental skill mix evaluation, and it came out of this theory uh, with Anirudh Goyal, and where we were trying to recast language modeling in a different way, so we think of it, so we want to bring in the notion of skills in this, and so we think of a corpus as being composed of pieces of text, which have some arbitrary probability uh, distribution, which we don't know, there are some latent skills, um, which could be language skills, linguistic, logic, science, common sense, et cetera. 
And uh, we assume that uh, skills have a certain probability, background probability, and that there is a bipartite graph which, de which describes which skills are needed for which piece of text. And the important point here is that a piece of text, uh, if you look at this corpus, the pieces of text are generated using random combinations of k-skills. And, oops, sorry, so, all right, so the, there are statistical tasks involving predicting, you know, the, uh, the words or, say, answers to closed questions in the pieces of text. And so the main theory result is that cross entropy loss, you know, as it goes down in, a, in this theoretical framework, skills emerge. 10x scaling of the model implies that you get competence on twice as many skills, k, k doubles. And from that, it follows that you will get from scaling competence on k tuples of skills that were never seen in the training data. Okay, so I'll stop there. Thank you very much. <laughs>